This would be absolutely despicable and insane lunacy if I saw it on CNN or MSNBC. To see it on Fox News is a complete betrayal of anything remotely resembling conservatism or decency. What is Matt Walsh, thread. I have appeared on Fox News many times. I appreciate the platform they've given me. If what I'm about to say ruins that relationship, so be it. We have to call this evil lunacy out wherever we see it, especially on our side. Only walking down the street, you wouldn't think anything different. 14-year-old Rylan Whittington is a typical Southern California. Bro, they're fucking mad that Fox News covered a trans teenager without, like, you know, uh, without being, without advocating to murder him. A teenager. And the Whittingtons, along with mom Hillary, dad Jeff, and sister Brinley, are a typical family. The only difference, though, in Ryland's eyes, is what this family can mean to the tens of thousands of kids under 18 who identify as transgender. We put our story out there so people could see that, like, there's another family out there that is going through what we're going through, or there's another family who's proud of who they are. Before Ryland could even speak, he managed to tell his parents that he... And they're not misgendering him. That's crazy. What's happening on Fox News, brother? ...is a boy. I could just see it. It wasn't him trying to be a brat. It was, like, painful. It was truly painful for him. You know what's wild about this, by the way? You know what's fucking wild? It's just like they're showing exactly what they mean. They want to hurt. They want to hurt and be like, they want to bring pain into trans people's lives and to their families. Like, that's it. Like, this is just normal news coverage from Fox News, which is surprising. Okay. And it's fucking wild. It's wild that they're like, they're, they're openly stating exactly what it is. I'm to have to wait. Trans people always have the weirdest names like Trover or Aflexi or something. That is not even true. They literally, I think trans people oftentimes hey uh, uh, choose the the fucking funniest names not like uh weird names like that but like literally fucking mildred it, 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 rylan is just like super white that's why you've never heard it but i've joked about this before where it's like trans people literally will fucking undergo gender confirmation get fucking yelled at by uh you know every human in existence for no fucking reason and then after all of that they're like i'm gonna be doreen I want you to call me Doreen. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Mildred. <laughs> I'm Gertrude. Please. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. That's, it, it's just like names that have not been used. Names that have not been in use for like 100 years, okay? What the fuck? <laughs> Wear feminine clothing and, and for us constantly telling him that you're a girl. And unlike some trans kids, when Rylan came out at age five a few years later, he had the full support of his parents. Initially, there was some pushback from us in yeah. trying to understand this. We were confused like most people are. We thought that gender and sexuality were the same thing. It took us a while to figure out that those two things are different and that children actually do recognize their gender identity very young. Some of them, not all. But they listened to Rylan and to Hillary's conservative faith. For me, it's just a deep spiritual belief that you believe in god and he you know created us the way he wanted us well then yes he created rylan just the way he is and they listened to families they met in support groups there was a this father is a, this is actually a wild story i mean goaded parents straight up conservative ass family has a has a trans son immediately is like yeah you know what it's it's chill that's wild it's kind of cool to see it on Fox. I mean, I, this is good. Holy fuck. Who was sitting across the table. He says, you have no idea how lucky you are to be here, which kind of took me back. Like, this is, oh my God, what the fuck's going on? Is this like, are we transing the youth right now, guys? Is that what's going on? Because this is a, this is like the golden retriever family. You know what I mean? This is the whitest fucking family you could have found. This is literally like, this is agitprop. This is actually fucking straight up agitprop which is kind of wild to see they're super blonde they basically have a white picket fence okay and they're like very open about uh their their uh, trans son and have been like really helpful through that journey this is like really palatable for like white christian families it, it is 
it is really, really interesting to see. I didn't at that point consider myself lucky to be there. And he said, you know, our, our child had displayed this gender dysphoria or this gender misalignment at, at, at the same age that Rylan has. And we didn't listen and we pushed back. That pushback led that child to turn to self-harm as a teenager, which 60% of trans and non-binary kids engage in, according to the Trevor Project. More than 50% consider suicide. That for me was the turning point. I didn't Class consciousness over sexual identity? Man, why don't you fucking shut your dumb ass up for one goddamn second, okay? You fucking idiot. Class consciousness never did it. Like, what do you mean, dude? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you can still single out trans issues in a moment when, like, trans people are fucking being singled out, okay? I already did my fucking rant about how the Democratic Party is awful because they don't actually fucking feature, uh, uh like, class positioning and, and class-based, um, and, and class-based solutions before... Uh, sprinkling in a defense for trans people. They don't do either of those things anyway, regardless. But, like, every time you fucking see, every time you see, like, a trans person uh, being uh, attacked or whatever, or being defended, and you go, oh, dude, what about class? Then you're doing an all lives matter a little bit. It's giving all lives matter, sweaty. Calm the fuck down. I didn't want to see Rylan to go through that. I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter. I guarantee that if we had pushed back and done what a lot of parents do, I don't think that we would have either one of the kids that you see before you here today. Allowing him to, to live authentically and true to himself and be who he really feels like he is. When you get to know Rylan, you see just how proud and confident he is of himself. Ryland's story got international attention in 2014 when a family YouTube video went viral. And Hillary has since written a book called Raising Ryland. I never thought that I would be known for this like as well as I am. I think like we talked about passing before. It's not the end all be all of being trans, obviously, it, but um, passing is obviously important for safety in a lot of circumstances in an otherwise like super transphobic, uh, super transphobic, uh, society. And one thing that you have to fucking mention, one thing you have to note is like, this is the main reason why conservatives freak the fuck out about kids, uh, getting hormone, uh, puberty blockers, puberty hormone blockers. Okay. This is it. This is like the main fear that they have is that like, you know, they're going to, if they want to, they don't have to, but if they want to, they're going to be able to, they are going to be able to transition in a way, uh, that is, is very safe, secure, and, and will be able to conform to, uh, whichever gender norms they want to successfully. They'll be able to fucking stealth if they want to. You don't have to, but that is 100% terrifying for conservatives. That's where it comes from. That's where it, like... If they cared, for example, if they cared about, like, the fucking safety and security of, like, or the sanctity of, of sports, yeah, if you get fucking gender, uh, if you, if you uh, take hormone blockers, which are reversible, if you take hormone blockers and then actually, uh, you know, undergo gender confirmation surgery when you're, you know, uh, at the appropriate age, you're not going to have the significant advantages of, like, being, uh, you know, the, the significant advantages of having male musculature or uh, male bone structure for your life. Like, you can then have uh, a, a closer bone structure and, and musculature to a, 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 a cis woman, right? And they don't want that. They don't want that at all. They're just like constantly fucking owning their own arguments. They just don't want trans people to exist. That's where it starts and that's where it begins. Up ear rape? Why are you giving one day? Just give him a fucking full baby. But... Really, it's just a small part of who I am. He just brushes things off his shoulders like it's fine. He moves on in his life and he's just kind of think everything we've been through. He's just like learned to do that and he's really good at it. I could never do that. The Whittingtons believe sharing their story could make a lasting difference in another child's life. Something they learned from that support group father nearly a decade ago. I'm just here to make the ride smoother for others. You might be struggling right now, but we believe in you. This family, we might not know you, we might not know where you live, but you know, we understand you. Bro, this is crazy, dude. Like, look at this. They're playing fucking baseball in their house, like right outside their fucking, you know, 
Nice little fence. This is like you could not have cut better fucking pro trans agitprop if you could. Holy shit. No wonder Fox News fucking covered this. We believe in you. What extraordinary courage displayed by Ryland. His what is going on? What? My man said courageous. What is happening, dude? What the fuck? Did I get hit in the head? What am I looking at right now? This is freaking me out, chat. What is happening, dude? What the fuck's going on, dude? Holy fuck. What the fuck, dude? Sister Brindley, Father Jeff, and Mom Hillary. I want Bro, is this like... What happened? Did we open up like a, like a fucking multiverse? Are we watching Fox News from a different timeline? What the fuck? Wait, hold up, dude. What? Dude, what? What is happening, dude? What? <laughs> what the fuck? This is very strange. This is like, there. I don't get it. I want to thank the Whittington family for speaking to us. It's not easy, particularly at a time when, tra when transgender issues have been politicized. People are afraid of what they do not understand, Dana. This family hopes their story will lead to more understanding, more acceptance, and ultimately more... This would be absolutely despicable, insane lunacy if I saw it on CNN, MSNBC, to see it on Fox News, a complete betrayal... Of to see anything remotely resembling conservatism or decency. Every element of this video is propagandist and dangerous garbage. The report states that his biologically female child was choosing her gender before she could speak. This is madness. The report further states that Ryland's parents began social transition at the age of five. This is child abuse. The vast majority of children... No, you know what child abuse is? Ben Shapiro being a parent, okay? That's child abuse, motherfucker. The report is absolute horrifying propaganda. We got mom citing her Christian faith to justify the perversion of biological identity. We got the radical gender theory activist Trevor Project. The radical gender theory activist at Trevor Project, which do what exactly? Crisis counseling for suicidal fucking teenagers that have been pushed away from their homes. Yeah, um, that kind of radical gender theory activists, you know, the ones that are like, hey, uh, the... They're stopping me from uh, causing trans people to commit uh, suicide. I, I, that's radical. <laughs> the radical Trevor project, brother. That's that's awesome. That's cool. Oh, he's fucking losing his mind, dude. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. I fucking love this so much, dude. This is awesome. Oh my god, we eating good today, boys. I, this is a gift. Oh my god, he bro, bro, bro tweeted. 50 times, dude. What the fuck? This is awesome. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, 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 dude. This feels so sweet. This feels so... This is decadent. This is delightful. This is literally a treat for all of us, okay? A treat for us? Thank you. Let's, let's thank them. Let's thank everyone for the treat that we got. My man lost his fucking mind, dude. Woo! Mmm, delicious. Okay. Uh, the report is absolutely horrifying propaganda. <laughs> we got mom citing her Christian faith to justify the perversion of biological identity. We got the radical gender theory activist Trevor Project stats claiming that childhood transition is the only way to prevent suicide. I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter is again propagandistic sloganeering. There is no credible evidence that transition alleviates suicide. There's no credible evidence. Evidence to suggest that transition alleviates suicidal ideation among children who identify as LGBTQ? Wait, what? Straight up, my feelings are more important than facts from Ben here. That is, that is like incredibly well documented, dude. What the fuck? Yikes. Oh, that's awesome. This is so sick. I love this, dude. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. Oh, get fucked, dude. Oh, it makes me, it makes me feel happy because like this is obviously good propaganda, right? And he's right about that. It is like it is cut like agitprop. It's so perfectly crafted uh for conservatives to like look at and go this does make kind of sense. Okay? But also on top of that like so if it turns the the if it changes the attitude of like even a single fucking reactionary family with a trans uh son or daughter, I'm happy, right? Cuz it can but also, this is so sweet. This is like a this is like a cherry on the top. You know what I mean? Triggering the absolute living shit out of this fucking gigantic dweeb lord, who endlessly froths from the mouth with like uh, murderous desire that at the very mention of a trans person existing. Oh, that's so good. Oh, dude, I hope he fucking has an aneurysm from like thinking about this too hard. My mouth is watering right now, dude. We'll ratio him. I don't know what to say though. I, I, I don't know what to fucking uh, hit him with.
We've got dad talking about living authentically by hormonally transitioning a biologically female child. Transition that, if continued, will result in biological sterilization and or breast and genital mutilating surgery. This family became famous in 2014 when Rylan, now 14, was six years old. Mom wrote a book about her own heroism. This isn't about the children. This is about pushing a gender theory that victimizes small children. Ben is a small children. And this is happening at Fox News. And this is happening on Fox News, where the family's praise for his extraordinary courage in the face of politicization of transgender issues. People are afraid of what they do not understand, the reporter says. But we do understand the agenda. We understand that this is propaganda on behalf of the destruction of children. And it is vile. Fox News is too important to conservatives to be weaponized on behalf of... Uh... uh huh. On behalf of, wait, where the fuck was it? In part to be weaponized on behalf of the most radical leftist propaganda imaginable. Propaganda that aims directly at the mental and physical health of their children. They should terminate whoever is responsible for this agiprop abomination. Oh, he said agiprop. Ben's been watching my videos. Um, no shot. I've never heard anyone that's not a leftist, like a annoying little fucking shitter Marxist Leninist, ever use the term agiprop outside of this community. I've never heard anyone use agiprop. Uh, out, outside of like uh, you know theory nerds that love Lenin, what were we tweeting with this? That one's whack. Incredible that have been absolutely seething at the prospect of the trans teen living a normal life featured on Fox News. Dara zero zero six, thank you for the five get the subs. All right, another thread from today where he's molding. Oh, dude, there's more. Utterly ridiculous. Uh, commanders, uh, oh yeah, the Del Rio's original argument, I can look at images on TV, people's lives are being destroyed. I just think it has two standards. Yeah, this one's not as sweet, honestly. Because he only has four tweets on this, you know what I mean? He has like 20 on the trans thing. Get him with the trans punisher. Yeah, I mean, this one's good. This, this the incredible threat of Ben absolutely seething is good enough, I think. Here. Just pump it, because, like, then people will see the original video, then people will see Ben Shapiro. This makes me so happy. Wow. Minor victories, you know? Little dubs here and there. Little dubs here and there, like the fucking Texas, uh, like the, the uh, Texas judge blocking the trans crusade against uh, families of trans children. Could have ended him with my meme. Ben Shapiro defends trans existence? Wait, Today what? on Debunked, we're going to discuss a very common question. Can a man be a woman? Dr. Levine, the government intervening. Senator, a uh, transgender medicine is a very complex The object. answer, clearly, is yes. Elliot Page came out publicly announcing he is oh my transgender. God. What's happening, dude? I love, I love dumbass videos like this, dude. Not as much as I love serving the top of the hour ad break 14 minutes into the top of the hour, because like I totally forgot to run it because I got so fucking horny to see Ben seething and fucking tearing up at the, at the thought of trans people existing comfortably on this planet. Nothing triggers this fucking man baby, this petulant child, more than like thinking about trans people not getting fucking murdered. He's like, wow, I can't believe a trans person is like alive and well. This is this is disastrous. We must stop this immediately. Okay. So I forgot to run the top of the hour ad break, which I'm going to run right now. If you no longer want to see those ads, of course, uh, you can defend yourself against the top of the hour ad breaks by subscribing for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime. Uh, by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Uh, you can get one free Prime subscription a month. Guyana Brown, thank you for the 10 gifted subs total, allowing 10 people to no longer see the fucking ads. Let's go. Dynamic Jab, one, three. Thank you for the five gifted tier one subs. Um, here's the one minute ad break. Some people are born men in women's bodies, women in men's bodies. I was trying to live a life that wasn't me. It wasn't my life. I've known this for quite a while. Transgender identity is reality. To suggest otherwise is insane and nonsense. What the fuck? Dude, I love this, dude. This is so dope. What is happening right now? I mean, this is obviously, this is obviously fucking, uh, literally, you know, uh, uh, using his, twisting his words against him, but it's so fucking dope. So good. Gender identity is completely separate from sex. According to biology, sex is a spectrum. But typically, those who have the XY chromosomes are male. Those who have XX chromosomes are female. Gender is entirely socially constructed and thus separate from biology. Gender would be all the various feminine qualities that adhere to womanhood. Or the masculine qualities 
and adhere to being a male. You might just be a different gender with different pronouns because your gender is separate from your sex. The simple reality is that being transgender is part of the human condition. What's more, if gender is a social construct created by society, awesome. sexual inequalities could be laid at the feet of an evil gendered society. To pretend otherwise is nonsensical. Thank you all for being here. We stand between America and the darkness, and we will march until that darkness is banished forever, and all of our children can stand together in the sunlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin Shapiro. We just can't be sure that kids actually have the gender assigned to them at birth. If a boy is effeminate, she might actually be a girl. If a 12-year-old says that she is a girl, they ought to be treated with empathy and care. You can be a woman in a man's body, a soul in the machine, because gender and sex are completely different. The answer for what is man or what is woman is simple. I feel like a woman, therefore I am a woman. If you're a straight dude and you don't want to have sex with a trans woman, this makes you gay. Did you know that every like on this video creates one additional leftist tier? Don't ask me why, that's called science. To take advantage of this amazing opportunity, hit the like button. Fire. Yeah, I agree with you, Ben. Thank you.